second here tonight. Third baseman, number five. So the bases are empty with one man gone. Dan stepping in, the all-star third baseman, David Wright. Now here's the first pitch. And that's off his leg on the mound. And now, fortunately, they will get an out here. And with that play over now, time to check and see if our man is all right. You can really see him favoring that leg. And that is his plant leg, which is always a concern. But from the way he's acting out there, I think it looks like he's going to be okay to try and continue. Michael Kadire will have his first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first. Now a swing, and oh boy, ground balls have ruled the inning. A third straight right here. A flip to the pitcher covering, as that will retire the side. Mets go down one, two, three. Now the Cubbies will get their first crack. No score. A look there at the starting lineup for the Cubs now. Gregory Polanco will step in now to lead things off in the home half of the first. And here's a called strike at the knees. Don't think he liked that one too much, but it's 0-1. Tonight, borderline calls, you got to be swinging. Now here's a ball hit hard on the ground to second. One away. A look now at the scouting report as to what you'll see from this 22-year-old right-hander. Starlin Castro will dig in here. First pitch on the way. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. One out, nobody on. The 1 0 pitch. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2 0. Well, I think that's consistent with how the strike zone gets called nowadays. That's a strike in the rule book, but most umpires won't give you that pitch anymore. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. And he will run this one down. A good read off the bat for the second out. And with two away, let's check out our playoff bracket as we give you a look at how these two teams advanced out of the divisional round to meet here for the league championship. Anthony Rizzo will get his first cuts now, and he'll do so with the bases empty and two away here in the first. Now here's the first pitch. Swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. There now is Granderson as he makes the catch to retire the side. Three up, three down for the Cubs. We played an inning. No score. Lucas Duda will get his shot now. Great power numbers during the regular season. Still searching for that first home run in the postseason, however. And these guys really need him to start producing because it seems like pitchers have the upper hand in the postseason. You're always facing the other team's best. And they've pretty well neutralized him all October long. First pitch of the inning is taken low and away for a ball. It's 1-0. Here comes the 1-0. First two pitches off the mark here. It's 2-0. and oh. Yeah, he, he's looked at two close pitches. You get the feeling that this is the calm before the storm. I think he'll unload on this one if this thing is anywhere near the zone. Here comes the 3-0. That one's in there, 3-1. and one. Yeah, a much better pitch there than the one he threw on 2-0. and oh. Oh, he got under the 3-1 a bit as this is in the air out to right. And it's a fly out to start the second one away. Dangerous count right there. Three and one. Dangerous pitch, too. He comes with the fastball, but he's going to live to tell about it as he gets him to loft an easy fly ball. Curtis Granderson will stand in here in game one, and he'll be looking to put a disappointing division series behind him. Yeah, it was disappointing in that he wasn't able to really carry much of the load. 
but I know he's grateful to have a shot at redemption here in the lead championship series. Here's the first offering. Now a swing and a fly ball. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead, it's a foul ball. Gray ready with the 0-1. 0-1 pitch is sent on the ground now to Castro out at short. Castro gets him, two down. Wilmer Flores will stand in here looking to keep the inning alive with two gone now in the top of the second. Oh, and he took a big swing at that one as this is driven out to deep left center field. And it's gone! He liked the first pitch he saw and deposits it over the wall. So a solo shot here to left center field. His first homer here in the series. And the Mets are on the board first, one to nothing. Travis Darnot will stand in now. And you'd have to say he was one of the real bright spots in the division series. Here in October, this is when you want your guys to really find their stride. And you're right, Matty. He was out. And sorry to interrupt, but the play has been made for the third out. Inning over. Mets draw first blood thanks to this solo home run. On to the bottom of inning number two. It's one nothing Mets. Chris Bryant will start things off in the bottom of the second. Thanks, Matt. Chris Bryant. First pitch coming. And a high strike to begin the at-bat. It's 0-1. And, and that's about where he'll sit with that fastball. 93, 94. And that's plenty hard enough to blow it by guys when you need to. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's 1-1. One and one. Ready now on 1-1. One and one. Swing and a miss on the fastball. And it's 1-2. And this is a guy who will not get cheated up there. And he almost came out of his shoes on that one. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in dirt. And it's back to even at two and two. Four pitches. Fast, slow, fast, slow. EK, you thinking fastball here? That seems to fit the pattern, but you better not get too predictable out there. The guys will catch on quick. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. And he was really late on this one. I mean, really late. You can see where the baseball is by the time he gets the barrel through. I mean, it's darn near in the catcher's glove already. That tells me he was probably looking for something else. Here's the catcher now, Miguel Montero, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Montero waits. Now the pitch. Swing and a hard hit ball towards the hole. And this will get through into right, and he's aboard with a single. Jorge Soler will get his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. Here's the first offering. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. We're in the second, one nothing Mets early on. One oh on the way. Swing, hard hit ball to second. A bare hand for one. Back to Duda, a double play, and the inning is over. Four to six to three. They roll it up to get out of the jam. We're back with more of Game 1 after this message and a word from our local station. Juan Ligares ready to go here as we begin the third. Center fielder number 12. And he starts the number 8 hitter with a strike. Nothing in one. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put him behind in the count and on their back foot right away. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Well, that's a nice job right there to readjust to that curveball. I don't know if he was sitting on it or what, but he certainly hit it hard. Unfortunately for him, right at someone. 
Aaron Sanchez steps in now. First pitch to him. And he'll take strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Now the pitch. And misses wide. One ball and one strike. Now the pitch. And they'll come inside with this one, but the result's the same. It's to two and one now. And this is something we've seen a lot from him recently. He's worked his way into another good hitter's count. Yeah, it's not unrelated either. When you're going good at the plate, usually means you're being selective and you're not getting yourself out. When that happens, you'll find yourself in these kind of counts. This is nothing more than a great pitch here on two and two. Just a changeup that totally bottoms out right there. Very tough to do anything with that. Daniel Murphy is at the plate now as he looks at strike one. And he doesn't get much on the swing here as this is pulled down the first baseline. Onto the bag with it is Rizzo, and the inning is over. So they go quietly here in this half inning. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. It's the Mets one, and the Cubs nothing. Paul Calhoun makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And that one's swung on and missed 0 and 1. He may not throw a ton of changeups here tonight, but he's got a good one when he needs it. And I think he will need it because this is a good fastball hitting team. Most teams are. So the more you can keep these guys guessing off balance, the better. Now a fastball. Look out as he has to duck out of harm's way there. Mm. He did not like that one bit. You know, it's one thing to work in with the hard stuff, but don't do it around the dome. Here comes a one-two. Yep, to two balls and two strikes now. I smell another changeup coming here before too long. Could even be right here. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. And this is a spot where, to me, you don't need to play home run derby here. I mean, if your last name is Pujols or Fielder, maybe... But for a guy like this, you just try to get on base and give your guys a chance to drive you in. Sonny Gray is at the plate as he watches ball one. The next pitch. Here we go. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Hey, give him credit up there. He's going to take his hacks. One one on the way. I'll oh, straighten him up there on that fastball. It's one and two now. Wow. No chance of getting on top of that fastball. I mean, that's helmet level right there. And here's a ball hit in the air. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. He'll try again, one, two. And a good take there. Close, but it's two and two. Just one hit apiece for both of these clubs. 2-2 two -two pitch on the way. And he struck him out as well. So the bottom of the order providing little resistance here. And there are two away. Well, yeah, but even though that's just going to go in the books as a strikeout, it was pretty expensive in terms of pitches. And when you think pitcher on pitcher, that's what you'd like your guy to go up there and do. At least give someone a battle. And now pitch on the way. Javier Baez is in with two away as he takes a ball, 1-0. And that's where, if I'm pitching, I just pour a fastball in there. you got to figure he'd be taking to give his pitcher a second or two to get himself together over in the dugout. Swing, and he pops him up over toward foul territory. And no one can get there. He'll try it again. Here's the 1-1. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Ready with the 
Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Sets the 2-2 pitch. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. Well, that pitch is so low and such an easy take that he basically wastes that opportunity. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. David Wright will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. And he lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. Michael Kadire will stand in. He grounded out his first time. There's a strike at the knees, 0-1. Real good lateral movement on that two-seam fastball. That pitch is money for him when it's moving like that. So just keep on throwing. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground at first. But the bag with himself is Rizzo for the out. Very quickly, five pitches and two outs here in the fourth. So those are the kind of innings you love to have if you plan on working deep into a ball game. Lucas Duda is next as he finds himself behind 0-1. And a swing as he pulls this one into right. Base hit. Well, he'd had some high-stress innings here so far. It was looking like he turned a corner and was on his way to a much-needed one, two, three. But he's going to have to get in the stretch here after all. And Granderson can fly, remember. He's got extra bases here. Oh, and he ignores the third base coach and heads for home. And the runner will score from first. And you know, there's just so few places in the strike zone where you can keep this guy from hitting the ball hard. This is not really a bad pitch. Just a little bit down and away, but he's all over it, and he cashes in a run on the double. Stepping in now, Wilmer Flores, as he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Oh, he looked like a caveman swing in the club on that one. It's 0-2 now. Uh, tough pitches here, back to back. I'll uh, hold that thought as the play is made out there for out number three, and the side is retired. One for the Mets here on the RBI double. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 2-0 New York. Gregory Polanco will stand in now to lead things off, and he'll do so against a guy who's definitely in a groove out there. Yeah, he struck out the side his last time through, and they've got to do something to get this guy out of the role that he's been on. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. A fastball off the plate away. It's ball one. Now here it comes. That missed. Close. It's ball two. This is a good approach when you're facing a pitcher you're not too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. And that questionable call on the previous pitch it really changes the at bat because he doesn't want to just lay one in there on 2 and 0 oh. now it's 3 and 0 oh and tide is not working in his face Starlin Castro will stand in now following leadoff walk and might we see a bunt attempt here in the two run ball game every extra run helps it's a possibility but I think they'll probably let him take his chance of swinging away and here's the first pitch now this is swung on and dribbled up the first baseline. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. He's ready now. The pitch. Oh, now this ball powered into right center, and that'll be trouble as it heads toward the IV and extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. The relay throw. And Castro makes it all the way around to third with a triple. Well, you know, we always talk about leadoff walks coming back to hurt you. But rarely do they come back to hurt you quite so quickly. This is a ball club that can strike at any time. And they get a quick one right here with that RBI triple. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. As the first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. 
That high fastball is definitely a pitch guys to pop up. That's what he's looking for on the mound. So that's good restraint to hold back and not swing. Waved at and missed as he took something off there. One and one. Wow, what a good time to take something off of that pitch. And they had him fooled pretty good on that one. Oh, had a hanger that time, but missed it. One and two. I don't think he's going to want to throw that pitch in that same location again ever in his life to this guy. Here's a swing and a high pop-up. Drifting toward the third base dugout. And that's going to land foul. Here's another one, too. Um, he couldn't pull that one back as he clearly broke the plane to the plate. And that will be ruled a strike. Throw on to first is in time to get him. So that will go down as a strikeout and a two to three put out for out number one. Chris Bryant will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. First pitch coming. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground towards second. Throw from shallow right will get him at first. But the run will come in to score. Yeah, with the runner going on contact right there, this is going to be an RBI ground out as he's in the score and tie this game up. Here's the catcher now, Miguel Montero. As he'll look at a fastball too high for ball one. The 1-0 home. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. Back with more from Game 1 after this. Travis Darnot will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. First pitch of the inning is taken downstairs for a ball. It's 1-0. The pitch count there, one pitch into his fifth inning of work. Not much of a concern, I wouldn't imagine. Yeah, it shouldn't be. He hasn't had any real overtaxed innings, so he should be fine for the time being. A 2-1 offering. Fouled straight back. Here he comes on 2-2. Two and two. And he just manages to stay alive here as he fights this one foul. Here comes a 2-2. And a fastball runs in a bit too close for comfort that time. Yeah, he's not trying to hit him, I don't think. But sometimes you need to keep guys honest up there. I think that's all he's trying to do. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. Juan Ligaris will stand in. He grounded out his first time. Big slow breaking ball that drops in for a strike to start him out. It's nothing and one. Yeah, and it seems like he kind of got away from that pitch here in the last few innings. You got to think about bringing that one right back. And he'll stay with it to put it away as they get their man here for the second out. The pitcher number 44. Aaron Sanchez Aaron will stride in again. Sanchez. He struck out swinging his first time. First pitch fastball off the plate there, and it's ball one. Well on his way to another good inning right here. And you see the pitch count. It's not even close to being a factor just yet. And able to lay off the fastball away here. Two and one now. Yeah, after that last swing, I would have thought they'd go right back in. But that's actually not a bad location because I doubt he was looking for something out there. And a bouncing ball foul. Here's the two and two offering. And this is fouled back and out of play. The two two. And this will be fouled away. The two two coming. On the eighth pitch of the at bat is the one that finally does it as he wears him down and the inning is over. Jorge Soler will stand in to lead things off in the bottom of the fifth. First offering on the way. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. And he'll take this to the bag of three unassisted for the first down. Cole Calhoun will try it again. Set down on strikes his first time. First pitch coming. 
Fastball in there for a called strike. Straight paint at 94 miles an hour. Not a lot of movement there, but it's right on a dime. The pitch. And a pitch in the dirt as he lays off. It's one and one. One one pitch on the way. And maybe an excuse me swing there as this is tapped in front of the mound. Throw on the first takes care of him. Two very quick outs to start the home fifth. Sonny Gray will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. Here's the first pitch to him. This should end the inning as it's sent out to second. And indeed it will. He throws him out at first and the side is retired. Cubs are down in order. Through five. All even at 2-2. Two, two. Now the first pitch. Daniel Murphy is at the plate here as he quickly finds himself down a strike. It's 0-1. Not too many strikeouts on the ledger for him so far, but it hasn't really mattered. Yeah, I think ideally you'd like to see... Oh, and hold that thought as this ball is driven into the left center field gap. Should result in extra bases. And he gets in there standing. He's got himself a double. Oh, and a great way to kick off the inning here. That's going to get the go-ahead run to second base with that double. And you know, even though it's still the sixth, you'd love to find a way to grab that lead right now and hopefully just let your bullpen take it home from here. Gray ready with the 0-1. Pitch swung on and hit in the air toward the line and right. And that's taken in near the line as the runner tags from second. And he'll make it up to third safely here with one away. So a double and a fly ball move a man to third now with one away. Now if they could just get another fly ball, it would likely net him a run. Michael Kadire will stand in again. A couple of ground outs for him on the ledger in his two trips so far. Now here's the first pitch. Here's a hard hit ball back up the middle. And that is in the center field as he comes through. It's a base hit. And the go-ahead runs in to score as they break the tie. It's 3-2. to two. Yeah, right here, runner on third, one out. All you're looking to do is hit a ground ball past the pitcher, and you're going to get that run home. Here is the added bonus. He finds the hole, and he gets it on into center field. Lucas Duda comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. In there at the knees, 0-2 now. Set. Now the pitch. And a change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. And with a runner on first, you better have a catcher that you can rely on if you're going to bounce a change up on an 0 and 2 count. Luckily, he does. Swing and a miss on the change up, and there are two gone. Runner goes for second. Pitch outside the throw. And it's far too late as he steals second with ease. And with two outs, this was an excellent spot to try to take second base. The worst case scenario is, if you get thrown out, you allow a good hitter to come back and lead off the next inning. Now, you give that same good hitter an opportunity. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. The Mets played a run on a couple of hits. 9-1-2 and two scheduled to hit in the home half of the sixth. It's the Mets three and the Cubs two. Javier Baez will come forward now to start out their half of the sixth, and they've found it rough sailing against this starter so far as he's yielded just two hits through the first five. Not too many hard hit balls there either. He's had them off balance all game. Looks like a left-hander has begun to get loose out in that Mets bullpen. Pitch on the way. And he waves at a curveball there. No balls and a strike. Yeah, and he's really getting over the top of that curveball. Now here's the pitch. Fastball that time is nowhere close, and it's even at one and one. Now here's the pitch. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. Here it comes, two and one. Hammered the other way to deep right field. 
And this ball is gone. No chance to make a play on that one. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. His first homer so far in the series. And the Cubs have come back to tie it at three. Now, so much for that six in a row he's retired. That guy just says, take that. Here's Gregory Polanco. Guess he'll take a breaking ball too low, and it's 1-0. Action in the Mets' bullpen now. It's both a lefty and a right-hander that start to throw. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. You'd have to think a walk here would hasten his exit from the ball game. Yeah, he can't let that happen. In a close game like this, you've got to make him put it in play. Swing and a ball hit hard on the ground is short. On the first, so a good bounce back pitch there as he gets the ground ball for the first out. Starlin Castro will dig in with one in and one away. Now the first pitch. Nice to go the other way, but this ought to be a routiner out in right. Under it is Kadir. Two away. Anthony Rizzo will stand in now. He flew out in his first time around and then was a strikeout victim last time. Now here's the first pitch. And this one's not close. It's in the dirt for ball one. And if he can get himself into a fastball count, don't be surprised if he has a big cut at something. Maybe try and break this tie ball. Donnie couldn't lay off there as he offers it a pitch in the dirt and the count comes even now at one and one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. You get the sense he's starting to nibble a bit at the corners here, and that's something he wasn't doing earlier. Yeah, and he sort of backed off the throttle a little bit, too. I'm wondering if that home run ball might have changed his approach just a little bit. 2-2. Two, two. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now another 2-2. Two, two. He'll fight just to stay alive here as this is fouled away. Three runs, three hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies. And a fastball swung on and missed, and the side is retired. But the Cubs draw even thanks to this solo home run. The 6-7-8 hitters coming up to start the seventh. We're tied now with three apiece. Wilmer Flores will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning as we flash you back to take another look at his solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Baez is there to put this one away, and it takes just one pitch to record the first out of the seventh. Well, nothing better than a first pitch pop-up to start the inning. Now you'll take that every time. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Three runs, five hits, and no errors on the Mets' line score so far. Just does manage to get a piece there as this is bounced foul. And the pitch. Ah, well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. Going to be extra bases. On his way to second is Darno, And he is in the second base with one away as the go-ahead run. I'll tell you, this guy has been something else in these playoffs. I mean, when it matters most, he's come up aces more times than not. And he delivers once again here with a ringing double. Man, he's fun to watch. Here's Juan Ligares. A fastball here as he'll take a look at ball one. One and oh. Yeah, he's still sticking with that fastball, but you start to get the sense that it's flattening out just a little bit. That 
could be a warning sign. And a slider misses here. Two balls and a strike. On, now the pitch. Grounded, fouled off to the right. Here's the two and two home. And this is swung on and bounced out to the shortstop, Castro. Throw gets him, two down. Kirk Neuenheis will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. There's the first pitch curveball trying to come back to the outside corner. Didn't get it that time. It's ball one. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. Ah, it's flagged down deep in the hole. On the first, and this will remain a high ball game as the inning is over. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Carlos Torres will get the ball now as he'll take over on the mound to start the home seventh. Chris Bryant will dig in for the third time now. He struck out and bounced out in his first two trips. Swing and a miss, but he's right on here. One strike. Here it comes. And that misses downstairs for a ball one and one. A one one. Foul back. Here comes the one two. Now a swing and a hard hit ball to short. And the throw to first is in time, one gone. Miguel Montero will dig in here. One for two. He's singled and grounded out so far. Now some action out in the bullpen as a lefty and a right-hander begins throwing. And that's in there for strike one. Montero waits. Now the pitch. And that misses one and one. Bases are empty, one man out. The 1-1. One, one. And they continue to work low in the zone. This catches the knees for strike two. Now here it comes. Now a cut fastball that almost had a little too much cut as it nearly ran in and got him. Now the 2-2 two -two pitch. And he's getting his money's worth up there now. It's full three and two. He knows the drill out there. You've got to make him swing the bat. Do not be giving up walks at this stage of the game because those could be fatal. Three and two, here it is. Looked like a cut fastball there, and he got him to swing through it for the second out. Jorge Soler will dig in now. Hitless in his two at-bats so far. And that's swung on and fouled straight back. Bases are empty here with two men out. Now the pitch. Now he lifts a high pop-up. Drifting into foul territory on the right side. And here's Duda to make the catch, and that's out number three. Daniel Murphy will get us going now in the top half of the eighth. Leading off for the Mets. Second baseman. Opposite field to left. And that's going to be a base hit. So a good start is the possible go-ahead run is aboard to start the eighth. So a runner at first now with nobody out. And stepping in, the all-star third baseman, David Wright. And now the Cubs' bullpen will start working here as both a lefty and a righty are up. And it takes strike one on the fastball, registering at 93 that time. Just lucky to make contact on that one as it's chopped foul. He waits. Now the pitch. Off-speed pitch in the dirt as he takes it for a ball. Good changeup right there. Down in the strike zone. Definitely the one they wanted to strike him out on. So that's a great job to lay off. 
And he'll stay with it here as he puts the squeeze on it for route number one. So a runner at first now with one away. And stepping in, the right fielder, Michael Kadire. Here's the first offering. In there, no balls and a strike. Yeah, he probably won't have too big a dip in velocity the rest of the way. But the later this game goes, the more important it will be to watch where his location is. That's probably the bigger concern. Gray ready with the 0-1. Oh, oh, he breaks out the hook here. Good for strike two. Yeah, I don't think that pitch wound up where he wanted it to, but it did the trick. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Lucas Duda will get another shot. Struck out swinging his last time. And he gets ahead 0-1. Comes set. Now the pitch. A lot of movement that time. It's 0-2. Gotta like the approach right here. He's basically saying, if you're going to beat me, you're going to have to take it to left field because I don't think he's going to... And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Mets leave one. Score remains tied at 3-3. Three to three. Cole Calhoun will lead things off here in the bottom half of inning number 8. First pitch on the way. Bottom three in the batting order here as the first pitch misses to the number seven hitter. It's ball one. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. And not the greatest approach there as he offers it a pitch in the dirt and it's even at one and one. Now the pitch. And this is going to be a foul ball. Now the one two. To two balls and two strikes now. Here now the 2-2. Started to go around, but he's able to check his swing for ball three. Uh, he just about went around. He, he was lucky to put on the brakes when he did. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. And in a tie ball game, you don't want to be giving these guys free base runners to start the inning. He's going to need to bounce back from that one. Harris Mindy Alcantara will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. And a ball 1 0. Now action in the bullpen as their closer starts to get loose out there. 1 0. And they'll ask him to bunt off the bench as he puts this one down. Only play is to first, and a great job there off the bench as the sacrifice is successful. That is good execution right there. It's very important when you get to this stage in the ball game, and that's going to get the go-ahead run up to second now with just one out. So that'll be worth a few high fives in that dugout, no doubt about it. Here's the first offering. Javier Baez is in now as he watches a pitch for ball one. The 1-0. -oh. Cut fastball, and it's by him, 1-1. One and, one. and if you're going to go after that pitch, you've got to be thinking right field. I think he just pulled off of that one a little. Here's the 1-1. One -one. Good riding action to that thing, and it's balled in two strikes. Go-ahead runs in scoring position here with one away. So one and two with one away. Lays off the one-two changeup, and he's worked it back to two and two. Two-two pitch on the way. Got him. Gregory Polanco will stand in here. 0 for 2 with a run scored so far. Getting a few steps off a second there. Now the pitch. 
swung on and taken the opposite way out toward deep left center. And he will get there as he had to cover a lot of ground to make that play. And that ends the inning. Cubs strand one. No change in the score. It's 3-3. Three to three. James Russell will enter now to start the ninth inning as his job will be keeping the game tied until the bottom half. On the ground to third. Throw on to first through the out, and that is how the ninth inning gets underway. Well, that's pretty nice. You come into a ball game, you throw one slider, and you get yourself an out. Now that'll help you settle right into the game. Wilmer Flores will stand in. He homered back in the second inning of this one. Pedro Stroke will take over in a tie ball game with one gun here in the top of inning number nine. Wilmer Flores is at the plate now, and he takes the cold strike. Well, you can tell he's trying to work that pitch away. He might have left that one a little more over the plate than he intended. Slider, and that's in there for strike two. And the slider gets him swinging to God. This bullpen's picking right up where their starter left off. This has been a real team effort on the mound. Now a big swing as this is popped up. And I mean way up there toward the right side of the infield. Baez is there to make the catch and his side is retired. Down in order go the Mets. Still tied 3-3. Three to three. And now here comes Mets skipper Terry Collins out to home plate. And it looks like we'll see a double switch here. Jerry's Familia will come on needing to get three outs here to try to send this game to extra innings. Starlin Castro will get another crack, one for three thus far. And we see a lefty and a right-hander start to loosen up in the bullpen. Now this is wrapped back up the middle, and that's what they needed to start things out. The winning runs aboard. It's a leadoff single. A good job here. Stays inside the ball well, throws the ball over, and just shoots his ball right back up the middle. Anthony Rizzo stands in now as the first pitch to him is chopped fouled off to the left for the first strike. Possible winning run aboard here. Nobody out. The 0-1. That's over, but low, it's a ball and a strike. The one and one pitch. And that misses, two and one. And now the wheels spin in that first base dugout. Oh, that man right there has got to be sweating bullets. Hard to say I blame him at all. Expansion. Now the 2-1. Nip the corner. 2-2. Two and two. Uh, Now you got to beware of that sinker. I mean, he'd take a strikeout right now, but I think he still just wants this guy to hit the ball on the ground. Here he comes on 2-2. Two two. Swing and a miss strike three. The throw. Way late. And he's in there easily in second. So they'll have to be content with just the strikeout there as the runner's able to get himself into scoring position with one away. Chris Bryant will stand in now. Hitless to this point, but with a chance to be a hero here. Well, he knows better than anybody in that lineup that one swing could make up for a whole game's worth of struggles. The 0-1. This ball will be chopped foul. Now the 0-2 pitch. And he missed with it. It's 1-2. and two. And even on 1-2 and two now, you've got to expand the strike zone a little up there. You can't go down looking. You've got to put this ball in play. Now a swing and a high fly ball. And this one has some carry on it to deep right field. And that's taken in straightaway right. Will he try from second? And he's up to third safely now with two gone in the inning. Maybe not exactly what he wanted, but that will get the winning run up to third now with two away. So at least you increase your options. A wild pitch will do it, a pass ball, a buck, and the old walk-off single will do it too. 
Miguel Montero could get a shot to win it here, although with a couple of bases open, they could afford to work around him if they want. Here's the first pitch. First offering to him stays upstairs. It's a ball and no strike. Very tempting up there, but that's also a pitch that a lot of guys will pop up. So that's a nice job playing off. The 1-0. And 2-0 and as this one's taken low. With every pitch it misses, he just keeps digging himself deeper and deeper hole. Let's go, 2-0 home. That's hard hit back up the middle. And he delivers with two outs in the ninth. It's a base hit. And they will walk off with game one here at home. Well, we're talking high drama here in the playoffs. A walk-off win here in the final at bat, and this place is going crazy right now. Well, guys, as you know, if you're going to pick a time to have a big ball game, you may as well make it happen in the playoffs. And this man right here obviously did. He's our top player in the game. Yeah, no time like the postseason to come through and prove your mettle. I think his performance here was by far the big key to this ball game. So that's a wrap here tonight. Eric Carroll, Steve Lyons, Matt Vaskersian, you've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Facebook at ML.